Hey everyone, Lensman Oz here. Welcome back to another episode of Manufactio. Uh, I noticed that this tank was a little full. Oop, that's taken the XP out of me. Uh, and that we were getting tons and tons of bones and rotten flesh. So there was a process added in a couple of revisions ago to turn XP, bones and rotten flesh, into oil. So I've set up another Frogman processor um, and set it so that bones and rotten flesh get pumped into here. It is, uh, I guess, fairly, uh, I don't know, what, what, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it. It doesn't use a lot of bones and rotten flesh. Yeah, let's just see here. Sorry, it's, it's this one here. Uh, so it uses a bucket of XP, gets and four bones and eight rotten flesh and you get half a bucket of oil which isn't terrible uh problem is i've got to move this probably here somewhere so it's only it's got four and a half buckets worth in it but we'll see what happens i'll probably move this tank uh to i don't know here somewhere and then pipe out to there so that we're getting a a um a decent backlog because we've got 32 buckets worth in here so it'll be good otherwise i'll just run a pipe off here and pump it back in but that'd be silly uh what else have i done i've done a ton of stuff i made myself one of these engineers toolboxes thinking that i could put all my little uh blueprints in here but alas not to be i can only put stuff like that down the bottom uh you can't even put your book in here which is interesting um but i've got a whole heap of blueprints the last episode with the capture mod and showing how that all works and oh, was that last episode I don't know. Um, but these things are cool so I've got the ability to build chemical plants uh, the excavator from immersive engineering uh, metal presses which I did uh, uh, the pump jack so the immersive petroleum pump jack which will be good for pumping up more oil uh, stand assembler the auto workbench from immersive engineering the fluid assembler and then i also have uh, an immersive engineering assembler and i've made my own so the boiler gen combo or the boiler generator combo so i made up my own pattern uh, i built it out there so i've got all the parts for another one now you do sacrifice a whole a whole set of parts honestly because you need to put it into a capsule and then craft the capsule. You have to craft the capsule without these two things. So you you craft the item you want to do. You place a capsule base, one of these guys, capture base, underneath the center. And then when you hold an empty capsule of a decent size, it will show you the, the bounding box around um, the thing you're capturing. In this case, it was a boiler like up here. The only thing I didn't include was the pipes and the pump on the side because uh, I'm not sure whether it would uh, set up the pipes correctly, but it's all of this. Um, yeah, minus pipes and pumps. So that's, it's, yeah, hopefully it works. It, <laughs> it cost me a bit. On the other side of that, in order to be able to make them, I have been working through uh, crafting all the items to get them into that chest that I like to uh, connect everything to. Let me just get rid of a few things that I've been working with. I don't need the capture base now. I'm, I'm not going to show you guys how to do it. It's, it is fairly straightforward. Um, I did start changing some of the inserters uh so golroth went and added a something that works exactly like an inserter but doesn't use the same uh ticks i guess you call it as um as an inserter does so obviously normally you'd have these inserters on here and there they're using using up cycles but this is just a slab and it works exactly the same and the recipe for it is literally uh, and insert it in a crafting table gives you the slab and vice versa so these things are cool 
Uh, just hopefully going to drop down some of the the lag we see. So I'm slowly working through replacing all the slabs. And what I found is that the hardness of this is really high and it's actually quite annoying if you place it in the wrong spot. So do yourself a favor. Don't place it badly. I know, you know, you're all sitting there going, yep, fantastic. I just won't place it badly, but I know what, we all know what Minecraft's like. And sometimes it can be a pain. Where did they go? There they are. But yeah, just be careful because it does take a little bit to break it. So, down this end of the base, things are expanding. Things are expanding a lot. Uh, that one up there is new. The end one, that one's new. There's nothing in it. And then a couple here. So what we've now got going, I'm trying to think. Ooh, backlogged here. What are we backlogged on? Is that a steel block? Um, yes, that's fine. I'll hold on to it for now. That one's backlogged as well. Or is it? This is the problem with the Signalum ones, is you really can't... No, it was backlogged. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to tell whether they're backlogged or not. Um, but that's alright. I'll hold on to the items that I've picked up for now. It's a whole bunch of junk. Alright, so this is one of the new ones. Boiler blocks from pipe. Uh, boiler valves from trapdoors and boiler blocks and boiler vents. Uh, the iron bars come from that one over there. Uh, firebox from hardened bricks and firebo uh, the firebox hatch, which I'm having a bit of trouble getting iron trapdoors into this one. It, um, it does not want to get the iron trapdoors here. Because the iron trapdoors come from this one. And for some reason, I want you to go to random. For some reason, I'm just having a lot of trouble getting iron over here. And, and look, I know it's a long way from my iron store, and I get that. But I was able to get a lot of iron into this, just not into here. Oh, sorry, this one. But it is getting used fairly quickly um, and extracted out. So hopefully once, oh, now that this one's done, maybe this guy will... Here, is it? No, that's titanium. White listed. Hello. He's, he just wants to make items like everyone else. Anyway, uh, I'm sure it'll catch up to itself eventually. Uh, so, yeah, in here we've got these three items as well for the boiler. And then this guy is making iron bars out of iron rods. Iron rods come from here. Uh, using my little my mod. Uh, so, iron in, got a, a rod press up there and iron rods out normal redstone control uh, what else is in here we have the hdpe pallets so i went ahead and i finished that setup and i'll take it over there in just a moment and show you what i've done uh, but the hdpe requires to be turned into sheets like so um, and then the sheets actually need to go over to a rolling machine so that's obviously the way that one's just gone uh, I also set up a Signalum filters because I was having issues with the chest that I assign these guys to, uh, not having enough uh, sides to put more filters on. So yeah, things things are all working nicely down here. These are all full now. And then I had to put another one all the way out the end here. And he's got kinetic dynamos and generator blocks for the boiler. And the copper coil block is coming from this guy here. Uh, so it's just a regular basic assembler, iron ingots, and copper wire giving us copper coil blocks. Outputted, and I should probably put a pipe across here to make it quicker and easier. Let's do that. Don't use an axe. So let's just... Connect things up like that. Really, computer, you always do this while I'm recording. Just go away. Oh boy. Um, 
yeah, so they're the main things that I've gone and changed. That's just a box of junk. I've got iron rods being made. When did I start making them? I made them for something else, didn't I? Hmm. I don't need two. But, ah, oh, whatever. <laughs> I'll get rid of one in a minute. Completely forgot I made that. Alright, so... What I was saying was over here, and I've been playing for a while um, to try and build up some more of our packs there, uh, some of our research packs. So up here is where we've got this going. We have our sulfur set up on the bottom. It's all good. And now up the top here, oh, this, this here is making the radiator blocks, by the way, for the end of a boiler. Radiated blocks. That's this guy. It's uh, water, steel, and I think copper. So that's all that's required for that. And that's all hooked up in here. And I did this over here because the water's here. Right. Up top here. This was the thing that I unlocked and then couldn't work out. And it's going back a few episodes now. Um, I unlocked it. In the book, let's open this up. It was this here, the advanced plastic fabrication. And main reason I had to unlock this is because this is kind of broken. Um, my oil system has a lot of lubricant in it. And even though I've got all these things using lubricant, it's still not enough. And um, yeah, things are, things are, are not turning out so great is this that's sulfuric isn't it normally yes I don't remember what I was doing here okay so that one there has what in it gasoline okay so we are using lubricant and trying to make I guess the sulfur ones not go oh, I think we're just generating it too quick aren't we I feel like something's missing gasoline in a chemical plant not enough in where okay so obviously I need to Get a little creative with some power here. Careful that cable. This. Oh, it's all connected to all sorts of stuff here. Let's connect that one up. Don't think it's going to help. Oh, not enough energy. I need to make a solar array over here with some of those batteries. This could be why things are a little broken over here. And it's afternoon. All right, it's time to get another boiler going up. I'm sure, we can get one out here somewhere hooking in. I'm going to put one out here and hook it into this point here. Anyway, I'll come back and I'll fix this in a moment. Uh, so up here we've got a pressurized reaction chamber. And into this you need water, hydrogen, biofuel, and that creates substrate and ethylene. The ethylene goes into a rotary condensator to turn into liquid ethylene. And the liquid ethylene is pumped into another PRC, another pressurized reaction chamber, same as that. And it turns liquid ethylene, oxygen, the substrate stuff, and it turns it into HDPE pellets. I don't know what I'm doing with this oxygen yet, though. I don't know with, I don't think it's a gas. I got a feeling it's a liquid. Don't think it's the same oxygen. I, I don't know. Uh, I'll work something out to do with it. Maybe I'll vent it to atmosphere or anyway. Uh, yeah, so that's our plastic set up now using the output from that little guy over there. I've only got the one running. Probably chewing through everything quite quickly, actually. Just probably check that. This thing's probably going to town. Yeah, burn through about a thousand. Um, so I really 
should probably make a bunch of these setups to burn through this. Here's a question. That's an input. That's an output. Is this still a valid thing if I put the slab on it? Because then I wouldn't be, I wouldn't need to do this. I could just run that pipe from here. Interesting. I've got to try it. Missing structure. Darn it. Guess not. Now, now you're about to see how long it takes to break one of these guys. Like obsidian. How'd you make it out of Goroth? That's probably the wrong way around, right? Because it gets zapped up here somewhere. It's fine. Working again. All right, whatever. Yeah. Anyway, I'll, I'll remake that. Let's grab this guy and hopefully. No, we're still missing generator blocks and a firebox hatch. So we are still missing. Oh, you know why we're missing generator blocks? Because I haven't added it to here. So let's grab. Grab some iron. Which iron I I went from having like oh hang on. I went from having like no iron to an absolute load of it. But that was full the last time I checked. Um right, I guess I'm gonna need to play around a little bit more. We are definitely um chewing a lot more resources now. So you 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 have some iron. Have some more. Take tons and tons of iron and make me tons and tons of these things, please. Because I want five box hatches. Whatever, I'll take all 16. And is it up here? Generator blocks. Excellent. Oh, it's missing steel. All right. So while we set up our little filter here, and so what I want to do is to go just one of them for the moment, and one of them you can have that block of steel. Cool. That should enable us. Yes. You can see here's our blueprint, and I'm hoping I did this right. It's what I should be able to do, and I do want to go out here and, and place it down. Don't, don't get out of there. I don't really have any. I'm going to have to put a filter out here somewhere. Um, should be fun. All right. So this is placed down. Then all I need to do is get my engineer's hammer and get it on the end. Hopefully did I not do that right? I think I forgot a valve. Need another one of these valves. So my pattern is broken, and <laughs> I do need to fix it. But that, that's how you can set up your own um, patterns, is to place down the item you want with that base under it, and um, everything will be hunky-dory. Little ducks, do you work? It's, it's something I just want to try. So you 
We'll need water and nearest water is probably miles away, so we're gonna have to get another pump. I've got water here. A bucket of water. Alright, let's grab a pump. Uh, I think I've got a spare. Yes, I do. Um, sure. Just yeah, thanks. And do we have any levers in here? Fourteen of them. Gonna grab a second pump, just in case. What I'm hoping is that I can do this with conduits and stuff. Uh, especially with the higher tier. It's been, it's been a minute since I hooked one of these up. If I... Some water down here. Come on, pick it up. And then put the pump there. Get myself an output here. Can I then get my fluid ducts like so and I don't, do I need this powered? I don't remember uh, where's my lever? Remember if it needs power or not. No, they don't. I think something's shooting at me, don't you? I can hear it. And it died. Sorry, friend. Hopefully, that's going to push enough water. Here. Let's get out of here for a minute. <laughs> Someone shoot it, please. Come on. Shoot my friend. I can't swap weapons. Thank you. A friendly green blob. Really need to keep my weapons nearby. Uh, need to reload. Right, we good? <laughs> uh, let's grab this. What I'm hoping is that I can get filter, whitelist, zoom over to the base. I'm probably also going to um, probably going to get rid of this train soon or the cart and just hook it up so that it's running blocks. Um, only reason I've left it so long is due to the fact that the coal continues on to. That's not what I want. The coal continues on to the the processing of oil, but it's not really all that required now. Side of my base needs more guns. Uh, all right, so we're generating steam. Okay, can I do? Yes. Oh, that's a filter. I want a filter. A servo.
No. I don't know. Really? Oh boy. Did I use them over here? Oh no, it's the wrong thing. <laughs> That's right. I need a vent. It's not that at all that I need. That's my derp. I have a vent. This it needs to be a vent. And you still don't work. Wow. And here I was hoping. Alright. Um. Get off. Oh my gosh, really? Is it a vent in there? Pretty sure it's meant to be a vent, right? Yeah. Okay, cool, whatever. Alright, let's change this up a little. The vent goes here. Boiler block goes there. No, yes. A hammer. Shift right click. Right click. Right click. Can I run it with fluid ducts now? Yes, no? Apparently. Okay. Now this is just going to need some cabling on it. I don't think that needs to be powered. Okay. Cool. Alright, another thing up and running. It doesn't need powering, no. This does need to... Alright. Pipes are not good enough. I blow it up. Why did you stop? I'm sure this doesn't need to be powered, does it? Goodness me, maybe it does. It does. Good thing things don't go bang in this pack. It'd be quite nasty if it did. One day we'll get coal here. Here, oh, here it comes. <laughs> uh, cool. Alright, well that's producing steam. It'll take a little bit to get going. See that paranoia? Just left into the air. Huh. Spider over there. Um, yep, so we've got a bit more power happening here. Hopefully that'll tickle a little bit more in, at least until I can get some... Um, at least until I can get atomic happening. And like, this, don't get me wrong, the solar setups are, are so much better. Um, still doesn't have enough energy. So I forget to hook something up. <laughs> yes, I forgot to hook... Look, I didn't even need to do what I just did because honestly, if I'd have just hooked... <laughs> uh, can't run it off a solar panel. Or... Yay, whoops. 
What a derp. Kind of done the same here too. Alright. Things are moving again. Sulfur's moving. Where is the sulfur going? Yep, it's getting turned into sulfuric acid. There we go. Nice. Excellent. Good. Thing. Everyone's happy. Oh, goodness me. Anyway. Um, so, yeah. Just really quickly, and I am kind of at the wrapping up point because I spent all that time derping with that boiler and I really didn't need to. Uh, let's dump some junk off and I'll probably have I'll lose that I've dumped all this stuff in here uh, I wanted to unlock a couple of things really quickly this one was this it's 200 of each wouldn't mind getting into unusual ore processing um, I think that's mainly the path I want to do next is try and just process some of the stuff that I've gotten here in the overworld because this guy here thousand red green and blue um, I've got a thousand blue let's do it come on keep going one more Let's do this one down to the base will kick off again. Let's go down to about 300 and that'll do. Oh my gosh, nuclear reactor. Cool. So, I've unlocked Nuclear power. So RO33. RO33. We have access to big reactors. Uh, I'm not sure of these recipes, so that's concrete. It's not too terrible. I don't have lead. Do I have lead making into plates at the moment? I've got everything else. And I do make concrete. So that's not too bad. Um, again, we, it's time for fire up the assemblers or I may just just make what I need yeah it's not too bad the steel ah hot graphite ingots there you go that's the bit that's going to be hard arc furnace hot graphite dust which is coke dust dust in an industrial squeezer which is cold coke and that stuff is hugely polluting in this specification unit. Don't think I can make that, can I? No. 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 So I might make an advanced co oven because I think it's it's better. Need steam. Is polluted water and creosote. We can use polluted water in a chemical plant and get a little bit of sulfur and, and water. Or I could try and, I don't know, work something else around it. But that might be the uh, the course of action to get a little bit of hop graphite. Otherwise, I'm going to pollute the backside out of the place trying to make a little bit of cold coke using this guy. Um, so, yeah. Is there a capsule for it? I don't know. Capsule. Last furnace advance. I can do that. Oh, that's no, a blast furnace. Not a coke oven. So, has the coke oven? Is there? No, doesn't look like it so far. 
that's all right i'll have to uh i'll have to make one but yep anyway gonna wrap up there we've unlocked nuclear uh hopefully i can start getting into a big reactor i i think they're fairly clean in this pack and we can set it up i think the uranium might be the hardest bit these fuel cells uh, recipes for that is going to be a little difficult so 235 is yellow cake in a crusher and then we're going to need to build a reprocessor to get some more which is fun but uh yeah we'll, we'll get to it we will get to it hopefully Hopefully we can use things. I think, pretty sure this is the only fuel we can use. Anyway, <coughs> again, we'll get to that once I try and build one. So thanks again for watching. Hope you... Uh... Why is there appetite on the ground here? I don't know. Maybe my chests are back stuffed. I don't know. Where would that have come from? Maybe I dropped it. I don't know. Anyway, thanks everyone for watching. Leave comments down below. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye now.